Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard and it's about 90 out here. I have a painting that I do not care for in the least and my intention is to change that. <laughs> it takes me a while, I'm okay with it. So I'm going to start with my horizon line and hope that I can get away with changing that pretty hot out here like I said so it might make getting full coverage really difficult but then again I don't give up easily at all I didn't mean to use that color <laughs> but that's okay I'm just gonna have some fun right now anyway Make sure there's no other strange colors in my way. I'm going to touch over my edge. And if there's some colors left I don't hate, then I'll keep them. That sold once. I'm hoping it'll sell again. I'm going to use my excess colors over here on my edge. I think I want some of my iridescent pink that's not coming out of there, I can tell, but this will. Kind of like that purple in there too. Maybe a little more. So now I'm going to move on and see what I get for my ocean. I'm looking for the Prussian blue and there it is. That ought to cover about anything. Not a little bit over the side. Pull it down. The white pulled down into the Prussian blue floats my boat every time. I really like the way it looks. So I could definitely put some more. It makes a really good ocean. But my intention isn't to worry about that so much as it is to just give myself a dark horizon line. And I'm still contemplating on what I want to do, but I'm going to do it with turquoises to the best of my ability. Those that are open and some that are not. My tweezers have turned out to be awfully handy for a quick fix. So I'm just going to continue on my merry way. Use the blade of the spatula to touch my edge. I may want to wipe off those tweezers because I might need them in a minute. I love what the spatula does, it kind of looks like waves, and then I annihilate it, of course. That, right there, has got to go. There may be a few more of those. I'm inclined to play with the white, yes, metallic from Anita's. No gnats on my nose, please. Better on than in, I guess. Wow, there's a lot of this stuff coming from I don't know where. Wipe my tweezers off. Maybe grab some more of that. There's fish in the ocean. I 
This is getting old. Come here, you. <laughs> Maybe it's coming off me. Who knows? I thought my hands were cleaner than that. So, I like that Prussian Blue so much, and I see it disappearing. So, I'm thinking I'm probably going to put some more in there. And some other stuff. Just without even thinking too hard about it. Which may also include... Ooh. That's um, a folk art color shift. The Prussian Blue. I said the Prussian Blue. And now I've got it. I still want that green. I'm a glutton for green gold from folk art. But I did manage to put most of my bottles into my way. I just want a stripey C. Something simple before I decide to put a wave in. Or two. Maybe I should be going in the other direction. just did one of these very, very accidentally, and now I'd like to learn how to do it a little more on purpose. There is the Prussian blue I'm looking for. Let's do some of that. Take that. A few glints in the water never hurt anything. I don't have any gold in my sky, but I don't really have to either. I kind of want something else in my sky, like orange. Orange is dangerous. Very dangerous. Maybe just a little. <laughs> just to tempt fate. Make sure there's no paint filaments on there. Yep, got some other drag on my spatula. Just gonna knock that off and use it. Okay, so now comes the part that I was thinking about recently, yesterday even. And that's gonna be to grab some white paint. You know what? I'm gonna grab some white paint and put it right in this container. And then I'm going to put some Prussian Blue in there. And some more white paint in there. I'm going to stir it around. And hope that I can get away with what I've got planned. Let's see. I'd like to. Let's move it all in the wrong direction and flip it around. Let's grab an edge catcher. Fortunately, there's one right handy. I like the way this makes froth. And I like the way the, the Prussian blue lines bleed through the white. A lot. I can also add my odd spirals if I want to. And my leftover paint on the edge catcher will perfectly cover up. 
yeah, it makes better better marks than I can make. I'm going to let some of that go right over the edge and right over the bottom. If you handle it too much, it just turns blue. But if you don't handle it much at all, you get that... I'll show you. <laughs> you get the wonderful white foam. I want to just go all the way across the bottom, and I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move a couple of bottles out of my way that I don't need anymore. So I have some maneuvering room. Because that's really what I want. Is some room to maneuver. Well, that settles. Okay. So now it's time to pour more white in my container. Hopefully you can see that. Let's move that over. Pour some more white in my container. Should I do purple? <laughs> no, we'll just stick with the Prussian blue for right now. And you could stir this in with a fork. But I'm just making marks. You could stir it in with a, uh, with a basting brush too. This is the same way I make my weedy gardens. I wanted this to be very abstract, and I think I got my wish. I'm going to use whatever I've got left in my pan of colors, probably, to cover my bottom edge. I'm going to have to be kind of cagey about it. I disappeared in my edge catcher. There we go. It's back again. So yeah, so I'm just letting a wave go all the way across. I'm just going to tip that over and back. I love, love, love the graphic quality of those lines. What is that thing in there? Maybe it's nothing. It's, it's an illusion. So I wonder if I can blow on these without turning them blue. I bet I can't. It's a dangerous prospect. I think what I can do, and you might want to do too, is just take the Princeton Art Tool Cattle spatula and put a little wave, no pun intended, right above the part you want to cover on the edge. Let it run down. Heavy paint's not a problem because I use GAC 800 by Golden in all of my paint mixes. I am much, much happier with this. And I can certainly use my spatula to finish off and just put the last of the froth right over here. And I am happy with that. It's very surreal and that's fine by me. I'm all good. It's going to take me a minute to cover that edge. So I'm going to tell you guys, thank you for, for, very much for sharing my videos. Thank you for watching them longer. I really appreciate that. I've got a little Prussian blue over there. I could probably put an island in here. I like the accidental nature of all of these things. I say that. <laughs> oh, look! Sailboats on the horizon! <laughs> I've got to fix that. No, I'm not going to fix it. I'm not. I swear I'm not. <laughs> so if I let that run down, it'll go down toward the bottom. I don't want to do too much more. You could layer these too. I'm pretty sure that if I wanted to, I could put more in here. Let's do that. Let's, let's see if I'm right. You know, why mess with a good thing though? Honestly, <laughs> I'm pushing, I'm tempting fate. Still, I want to know. And I'm not wasting any paint if I just If I just dribble dots, right? It looks like water, and I like that. I grew up on the ocean in Maine, and I was out there before I was awake every morning, every summer, running into the ocean in my t-shirt, shocking the neighbors without realizing it. <laughs> 
Okay. TMI. All right. I'm pretty happy with that. I can put. I could probably put. Can I? A few little things here and there. Cool. Simple and beautiful. I'm happy. Thank you guys for joining me. There's 87,000 of you subscribed and more. And I'm going to clean out my container by using the last bit of paint that's in here and putting it on my Lola Fee silicone mat where I eventually peel it up and make it into something else, which is pretty cool. Thank you. For, thank you from Lola Fee. Oh, my edge catcher's stuck in there. Well, I use those too, but it's just easier if it's not uh, accidentally stuck to them. So I will see you guys anon. Check my Teespring clothing below the video for all of our print leggings and t-shirts should you be of interest to helping me out. More help would be to check out the end screen video of exhibition that includes the monthly donation prize winners choices. If you decide to use PayPal or Patreon, you can find those icons on my channel header and also on the link tree below show more. I think I can afford to have a few little spirals. I don't want to spiral the whole thing. I just want a few. Makes me feel like I had something more to do with the, the accidental wonderfulness. <laughs> I'm really pleased with this. Thank you guys for joining me. Thank you for all the wonderful compliments you give me all the time. You keep my morale boosted not easy to uh, make a living at YouTube. In fact, it's completely impossible. So thank you so much for everything you've done for me. Check out my playlists. Under all playlists, you'll find creative playlists with over 1,450 videos organized by topic and by genre and by the hundred. There are 14 lists of, well, there's 13 lists of a hundred. And sometimes I'm not so sure about those. Yeah, I'm, I'm adding filaments to the surf. Not filaments. Water droplets. Foaming things. Because I like it. And I love you guys. <laughs> and check out my Amazon link at no idea cost to you. If you shop there, it helps me out. I'm going to throw my dirty stuff in the bucket, find my leftover paint for the day, whip out an 8x10 canvas, and uh, see if I can remember what I'm supposed to remember. I appreciate the thumbs up. Thank you so much. And I will see you guys anon. Check under the link tree for Facebook groups uh, to purchase things, to join other students, or to check out the artwork that I have edited on from YouTube videos. I so love you guys. Thank you for putting up with me. <laughs> Thank you for being here. I really appreciate you guys. Bye for now. Priscilla out.